Hi, I'm here today with my friend Pamela Hibala, who's a licensed massage therapist, and she's going to walk us through how to do a sesame oil self-massage. In Ayurvedic medicine, sesame oil is considered a very prized oil with a multitude of different health benefits. It's considered a really grounding oil that's calming for our nervous system, particularly if we put it on our bodies before bed. Sesame oil is also really helpful for taking care of our external skin on our body. So our skin is our body's largest organ of elimination and it's responsible for excreting about 25% of the waste that our body produces. So our skin is thought to have its own microbiome, its own balance of bacteria on it. And by putting oil like sesame oil on our skin, we actually take care of the bacteria on the outside of our skin and our skin is really that first barrier between ourselves and, and the world. So taking care of that skin is really important. So I'm going to turn this over to Pamela and she's going to walk us through this simple technique. So we have a bottle of warm water. This is to heat the oil so that it's nice and warm when you apply it to your skin. You can begin with a scalp and face massage if you'd like using the oil. For today, we're not going to actually use the oil, but you could apply it by either drizzling some onto your scalp or just putting some into your hand and then massaging it into your scalp. So to begin the scalp massage, I'm going to just start at the temple right above my ear. And I'm going to just put, push my hands back until they touch and do some push-ups. I call them finger push-ups. And we'll just work through the scalp a few different ways. Then you'll move to your face and do some simple circles starting at your forehead, working down the temples, the cheeks, the jawbone. When you get to the chin, you can then contour and do a nice light stroke down to your sternum. Then we'll get some oil and we'll start with the arms and hands. I'm going to actually uh, spread the oil out on my hands before I begin. We're going to start at the wrist and then just work our way slowly up the arm, contouring the limb as we go. We'll repeat a number of times, and you can do this as many times as you'd like. To get the inside of the arm, you can flip the arm over and also repeat that. You can work down across the armpit into the torso. And then we'll repeat that on the opposite arm. So wrist, elbow, up to the shoulder. Then we'll move to the hands. So we'll do a little bit of massage with the hands. I like to do kind of a ringing <laughs> massage here. It's a simple way to work on yourself. But let's not forget these important fingers and hands. We'll need to get some more oil for our legs. So we'll move to our legs next. And you can either start at the thigh or the foot. We'll start at the foot today. So you're going to just do contouring strokes like you did on your arm, up your leg. And I do a hand over hand technique, which is really a nice way to work the wheel up and around. And you'll want to include underneath your leg. We'll move to the opposite leg. If you need more oil, get more oil like Debbie's doing. <laughs> And we'll just also contour up the leg, around the joints, up to the thigh. When you get to the thigh, ideally you would be getting ready for a shower. So you wouldn't have bathing suits on like Debbie and I do. Uh, but since we do, we're going to avoid our suits, but you won't have to if you're not wearing a suit. And we'll just work 
in a clockwise motion on our ballet. And you can either use one hand or you can do alternating hands in a clockwise motion. I'm going to then transition to my back and do a little bit of self massage with my back. And this whole process should take about two to five minutes, depending on um, how much you enjoy it and how much time you want to spend on it. So a couple other reminders to point out to you is that um, you want to set up a towel like we have so that any oil that drips doesn't get on your floor. And you also want to make sure that you wipe the bottoms of your feet so that any oil that you get on your feet doesn't cause you to slip when you get into your shower. The last thing to remember is if you do choose to do the head and the face massage, which is considered particularly grounding for your nervous system, um, the best way to get the oil off is to actually put the shampoo in your hair before you wet your hair or put the face soap on your face before you wet your face so that when the shampoo or the soap interact with the oil, um, it gets off more easily. So I really hope you guys take the time to practice this technique and really give your body the nurturing effects of the sesame oil. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy.